why replicate your DNA? You have a complete set of all, you can think of DNA as like the internet. And in every single device you have, you have access to the internet. You have access to anything you could possibly want to know to build anything, to know anything, to deal with anything. It's all there. And every single one of your cells has all the DNA identically. Like your skeletal muscle cells have identical DNA to your adipose tissue cells, which have identical DNA to your nervous tissue, your neuron cells, which have identical DNA to your, I can do it, immune system cells, which have identical DNA to the cells in your nose. Seriously, like unbelievable. Now, that's cool. You started out as a single cell and you are no longer a single cell. So you had to make copies of every cell, which means, hello, you better make copies of the entire genetic code inside each cell every time your cells replicate it. Okay, we're going to go into DNA replication processes in a second. Think about this. In a human, are you ready? There are three to six billion base pairs. What was my base pair? Here's a base pair. Three to six billion in one cell. If you stretch out the DNA from one cell, what? it's six feet tall. That's one cell. If you stretch it all out, there's six feet of DNA in one microscopic cell. <sighs> If every letter, this is awesome, if every nitrogen base was a letter in a book on a page of writing, your genome would make up 2,000 books and each book would be 1,000 pages long. What? And it takes eight to 10 hours for one cell to replicate all of that. And you try not to make any mistakes because if you make some mistakes, that's like, that's a mutation right there. There's about one mistake in every billion base pairs that your body copies. Okay, hopefully that just blew your brain into a million pieces of like, whoa, we are so cool. And now I'm going to blow your brain even more by telling you, by showing you how the DNA molecule replicates itself.